If you want to get the most benefit from your shadow boxing, you have come to the right place. Let's go. The first and probably the most important tip is that you focus on strict technique throughout your whole shadow boxing round. You should be lowering your intensity and focusing on one punch at a time, making sure you perfect your jab, your right hand, your hooks and uppercuts, and also focus on rolling, slipping, fainting, just everything you do in a regular sparring or boxing match. The reason it's so beneficial to lowering the intensity and focusing on strict technique is because in this way you will be able to get more muscle memory and you will be able to rely on this muscle memory due to the repetitions done with correct technique. I'd also highly advise filming yourself so that you can see that your technique is on point. Look at the video yourself or make someone look at it. The next tip that will skyrocket your boxing progression is to do and incorporate multiple drills where you focus on one thing at a time. In this example we are doing a jab drill, so the only thing Cornelius is focusing on is his jab. He's doing the normal jab, he's the slip jab, jab to the body, double jab, triple jabs, jabbing as he goes backwards, sideways, forward, and everything to perfect his jab in multiple ways. This is incredible if you have something that you need to work on. This could be maybe you have a bit of a sloppy hook, then you can do a drill where you only focus on perfecting the hook and seeing your progression as you do the drill over and over again. You'll be able to find five useful shadow button drills on our channel. The third tip and the tip that will elevate your ability to fight an opponent the most will probably be to match the fight intensity in your shadow boxing. This means that you higher and lower the intensity throughout the shadow boxing round, do some slow punches, fast punches, hard punches, soft punches, and really change up the rhythm, the speed, toughness of your shadow boxing to match a fighting scenario. Here, it's really important that you really try to visualize your opponent in front of you and think about that you actually have a fight against an opponent. This tip is especially important if you are thinking about having a boxing match. If you like this video, go and subscribe and check the article in the description. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!